Uh, one of his new subscribers. Hey, how's it going, everybody? Sarasota Tim, Cowboy Tim, coming to you from beautiful Laughlin, Nevada. And I got another one for you this morning before I go to Oatman. Uh, we've got all these people that are staying here all around the uh, behind the casino uh, for very inexpensive amount of money. And it, it just comes and goes every day. And I'm always meeting people. And I just met someone else that's very nice. His name is Isaac. I'm going to introduce him to you in just a moment. But he walked over when I was interviewing the other guys. And uh, he, he just wanted to know what it was about and what the channel was that he'd like to follow and check it out. Well, I started finding him a lot more interesting. He's got a class B here and he's got one of the better ones. So if you're considering this kind of lifestyle, uh, I'm gonna let Isaac tell you his story of what he's done. And he's 59 years old. And he is uh, gonna collect Social Security at 62, by the way. I'll let him tell you all that too, but what do you see the rig he's got? So without further ado, let me turn the camera around. We'll introduce you to Mr. Isaac. And the other guys are here too. They can be in the frame. Uh, they all wanted to check out his rig too. Okay, everybody, this is Mr. Isaac. How you doing today, Mr. Isaac? I'm doing great, thank you, sir. So, um, uh, you're from where? I am from uh, Colorado. And you have this beautiful rig. Let's walk over here and put it behind you so I can ask you some questions. Okay. Yeah. And uh, first of all, this is what they call a Class B. Yes, sir. And uh, it looks like new. It's a year old. I bought it last April, actually. That's really nice. And he's already shared with me that this one is not just your typical uh, Class B. It's got all the options. What do you have here? Well, it is the uh, Winnebago Revel, and they came out in 2018. They've been out since then. It's a on a Mercedes-Benz chassis, a four-wheel four drive chassis. So it's got um, it's uh, it's got four-wheel drive, and it's got four-wheel drive low too, which I guess the new ones don't have that. They're all-wheel drive. And uh, so the reason I liked it was because I am from Colorado and mostly for the winter and the snow mostly is why I wanted it. Yeah. Because I'm, I stay there a lot during the winter also. And uh, it's fully capable. It's, I had it there this last, uh, I, I was there for two months in December and January and I was, I was fine the whole time because it's fully capable of being a four season capable rig because it's got uh, what they call a timberline heater oh it's a pretty nice uh it heats up glycol and has lines that heat up my all my tanks plus all the tanks are inside all the lines are inside oh okay so and it's so a four season as long as you're in it and have the heater going and the timberline heater going you're fine and i was down to 20 20 below and That's I, fantastic. And I was fine. <laughs> I was kind of worried. And so you are full-timing it. I am full-timing it, And yes. you were recently in Quartzsite, where a lot of people for the winter uh, go and stay. Yes. And I was asking him about Quartzsite, and he said it was very friendly, very cool, lots of people there. And so now you came here, and you're just... Uh, well, I was on my way to Henderson, and then I'm kind of waiting. I was I, Last year, I tried to go to uh, Sequoia. I wanted to go see the big trees. I'm, I'm kind of on a journey to see all the national parks and all, and most of all the states, but mostly the parks. So that's my journey. And uh, so I was waiting to see when they were going to be open and that's going to be my goal to try to get there. Because last year I couldn't go, there was too much snow and they had it closed down. Oh. Uh, I was able to go to Yosemite, but I barely made it before all the floods and everything. And that was pretty cool. And then my I was going to go to go there but I couldn't go so I'm hoping to be able to go this year. Now Isaac uh, shared with me that he's not quite 62 yet uh, but he does have a source of income I think you said you had a job for a long time and you got a, a pension. Yes I uh, I worked in Colorado which a lot of people don't know I'll do some advertising for him I guess but uh, Colorado is like the third largest um, in the country for growing potatoes in this in the valley where I'm from and I not Idaho huh not yeah it's it's <laughs> like Idaho okay. we grow a lot of All potatoes right. there and it's a valley of it's 8,000 feet high anyway long story short I was a, a potato warehouse foreman there for 31 years oh 
and they you did your time and now you're out I of your had, prison they job had a good pen, they had a good pension my my son tells me dad they don't hardly do that anymore and i go i know that's so, why i stayed <laughs> and then uh, when and, you uh, become 62 you will collect and then i'll still get social security when i'm 62 yeah so you uh you basically sold your home i did uh, sell you my did home. pretty well with that in this today's market everybody does pretty well i'm, yeah. I'm sure and you made this purchase here i did make and, this purchase. and uh, you're out enjoying your life I am. And before we just show the community what a fantastic unit this is in case people want to go this route versus like what I'm doing and other people are doing, uh, on the outside here I noticed I have an e-bike as well. So you, you have yourself, you bought an e-bike? I did. <laughs> I bought oh, this. Kind of a uh, mountain bike looking style. Yeah, it is a mountain bike. And uh, I didn't, I wasn't sure, I did use, I used a mountain bike when I was a younger guy a, a little bit. And uh I wanted to try it, and I wasn't sure I wanted to spend a ton of money on it. So this is one I bought actually off Amazon. Oh, is that right? Yeah. <laughs> and how long have you had? It I've had it. I've you? had this two years. Oh. And it recharges the battery and keeps going. Huh? I have not had any trouble with it. It's been awesome. The well, only things great. I've had done on it is the typical bike stuff. I've taken it to bike shops and had it tuned up, and now, but the battery. And all the electronics, even being outside like this, I did it's been, have it. It's, it's gotten wet in the rain. It's gotten wet in the rain. And as long as it dries and out. I had the, it covered. I did oh, have okay. it covered. And then it kept the cover because of wind. It kept messing up, and it, I was like, ugh. I'm gonna try it. Well, that's see. a great testimony because mine is not being covered, and it got soaked the other day, but it's still working fine. Yeah. Uh, this is. I just don't put the battery on it when it's soaking wet. You know, I let everything. Yeah, of the battery dry. is inside. Yeah. I do keep. I do take the battery up, but I thought I'm gonna try it. And if it messes so it up. So you got your generator and you're trying to keep that out of the weather. And you've got, I, first I thought it was weather beaten, but you're trying to keep the vents open. That's for the vents. And, That's a cover uh, I bought for it. It's very quiet. He, he said, let me turn that off before I come over here and do the interview Oh, it's with a you. Honda. You but know. it's a Honda. It's yeah. very quiet. And that's a very nice bike rack you have too, by the way. Well, I really like that one. Which kind is it? Uh, that is, I always forget, a Rocky Mounts. Oh, okay. Well, and the I, reason I liked a Rocky Mounts is because it will tilt down. Oh, it does. Uh huh. So it will, it will tilt down like that, but it will also swing out and open. So I oh. can still open my doors. I can still open my doors if I want to. Okay. And okay. I do because to fill a Winnebago Revel, which I actually like it, it's a little less convenient. But to fill it with water, the it's inside, and they do that so that it can be winter capable. And so I have to open my doors and, and oh, you do. I, and All I right. have a I have a hose in there. I could show you guys if I if you want. Well, we'll just want to glance but inside and kind of go over the basics of what All this sort part. of room you have and everything. You get this ladder. You get an air conditioning. Oh, you've got the uh, Coleman mock. That's what they put on my uh, Flagstaff camper that I also own. Yeah, and it works really well. It's a how many BTUs does that have? Uh, that one's a thirteen five. That's what I have. Wow, that ought to freeze you out of there. <laughs> well. It does. <laughs> I'm sure it does very well. It does, yeah. So, uh, do you mind? Um, no, I kind don't of mind. Showing no, us a little no. bit of what you got inside. I probably should have. Uh, it's opened. pretty heavy duty looking little screen you got there. Should I just... Well, these are magnets. Oh. See? The, uh, uh, now they do this too. Roloff is one of the better companies that do this also. They're made in Canada. That does uh, fit very snugly. Yeah, and it, wor it works good. It looks very taut. I mean, nice. I have my. I have my rug there, but if that's not there, it it, it snugs it up. It works great. Why don't great. you uh, step in first, and I'll step by the seats and look at you, and you can point out a couple of things. Well, nice and dark in here. You got your TV right there. Uh, what is this little seat right here? I can yeah, see I'm crazy. My sisters oh, tell me. Oh, look at this. I took my glass off. Now I can see. My sisters tell me I'm crazy, but, you know. Before That's I okay. turn around and show you Isaac, it's a it's a neat camper. I'm already fascinated by the nice looking steering wheel and the dash. This is these seats are amazing. Now this is a the you know a very nice expensive looking Mercedes Benz. This is beautiful, and he's got a smart TV right here. As we pan around, uh, you've got all your control panels there and some cabinetry. And before we show behind what's on the curtain, what do we have here? You got a refrigerator here. That is the uh, the refrigerator, yes sir, uh, and it works great. These are, this is a good brand. I haven't had battery any. and propane, or is it? Just uh, no, it's just uh, it's just a, 
uh, what do you call it? Um, electric? Or? Electric. Okay, that's fine. 12 and then, volt, 12 volt electric. Oh, 12 volt. Fine, fine. You got your awning lights and stuff here. Yeah, the awning lights, which I hardly use the awning because of wind most of the time. Exactly, I'm the same way. Yeah, you know, one little breeze it's, and you're done. Yeah. So, um, and there's a few things I've done because of making it more convenient made for some me. Mods. And, yeah, and that is, I love my coffee in the morning and I thought, I wonder if that'll work. So Isaac's I, new to the channel. Wait till he finds out about how much I love coffee. I love that's coffee. A, that's a hidden joke there. You'll find out. <laughs> and, and I didn't want to have to take this usually. Okay, so there's a drawer here. But I didn't want to have to take this out. This is something oh, maybe. this is a, uh, like a, a hot, hot. Uh, it's a induction. Uh, in, that's, induction. That's nice looking. So you have to have a metal pan, which I do. And instead of, if you've never seen one, instead of using heat, this does not get hot. Okay. So what it does is it uses like a mag magnet technology and it basically vibrates the pan is so that fast right? that it gets the pan hot. So the pan and the food get hot, but this doesn't. That's great yeah. and safe too. Oh, they've been out for a while, but uh, yeah. It's a handsome looking device well, too. Well, I should have, I didn't know I was gonna be on YouTube, but I, you yeah, smell I, it. I can smell leather. It's just, it smells new Oh, still. I'm wanting to keep it so nice, I'm always, so you got oh, oh you got overhead storage. So and that's of course, where I he's keep, full timing. So he's got every that's where possible I keep all my amount clothes. of space being used. Yeah, that's where I keep my clothes. And uh, he kicks it right here, no doubt. That's I his keep favorite the seat chair. like that. I don't even turn the seat around. I keep it like that. There you go. I would do the same. <laughs> uh huh. And it's then, just me. And then you you've know. got. Do you ever sit here for any to eat or? Actually, I still even eat from right there. <laughs> yeah, I just. So, I usually sometimes I do. Okay. Or if I'm work, if I'm using my laptop, I'll sit right there. So you have a workstation, or if you have a, a YouTuber guest come by, you can yeah, say, have a seat. Yeah, I tried. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And then what do we have in here? Is this our okay, wet Okay, so I is... use this as a closet. Oh, and I have the light still on because I took a shower. But yeah, I use it as my closet, and I, it's also you, you took a shower I in did. here today. Yeah. Yes, this morning. So you, you used take your clothes out. I take my clothes out, takes what, like two, two seconds? Two yeah. seconds, I lay them right and here. Then, uh, it's a wet bath. It's a wet bath. Is it a porcelain toilet? Yeah, you know, no, it's plastic. Okay. And, uh, and you got yeah. your fantastic fan here, or whatever they call it. The yeah, fantastic fan right there. And it also has a fan inside here too. Okay. And then I bought this, you know, just to hold stuff. It didn't have this, so I bought that. It works great, it hasn't even moved. So I did buy that. This pole? Oh, yeah. This pole oh, to, hold, to hold my stuff. You oh, know, yeah, very there was no, cool. There was no, well, there is a place to and hold. Where'd you get that at? That's a good little mod. I got that at Walmart. Very good. <laughs> so it's like a shower curtain rod that you just put vertical or something? Or is it designed to be no, this No, it's way? designed to be that way. Well, how about that? And if Walmart ain't got it, I don't and need it. it That's one of my sayings. I've been on some rough roads and it hasn't moved. And uh, so that made me happy. That's really cool. Because, you know, it has one, but it's right there and it's like kind of inconvenient. I see. And, uh, so, so they don't think of everything. We can, uh, we can make yeah, adjustments as we need Yeah, there's things that they can do to improve, you know, yeah. but uh, otherwise it's pretty good. And, and it, it's uh, continuously hot water. It's, Recently uh, I was, I was uh, contemplating on a pop-up bigger than what I have. I mean, um, a teardrop. Right. It has a wet bath and toilet in it. Oh, I decided yeah. against it, but you got the same features, but you can literally drive your unit though. This is a more than self-contained. It's it's yeah. the car, it's the motorhome, it's everything. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And then um, over and here you got your little sink. I got me a little sink and this is my friend. I keep, well, I keep fresh water there, but I also keep fresh water here. I don't use the water in the tank. I probably could, but I use it just for showering and all that. Oh. I mean, not that it's bad or anything yep. but when you go I get love water this i'm sorry to interrupt you i got that idea. i don't think like that that's a no. smart idea <laughs> no i no i got that idea from a, a youtube another youtube person there you go <laughs> that's what it's all about learning from and it other. works look it does work yeah i'm gonna figure out a way i can hook mine in back in my little <laughs> galley of mine yeah so you keep this area closed off here okay yeah what do we have the reason and this is another idea i had so to run the air conditioner, say I'm wanting to sleep at night, it does it does have a big battery. Okay, it's got a 320 amp hour lithium ion battery. What does that noise? My, uh, I stepped right there. Oh, okay, I didn't know I if it hit was the me button. or you. Or... I hit the button, it's okay. the carbon monoxide detector. Oh, okay. Which right. I put in. It works. 
that's I put that in. It didn't have it. So and, uh, uh, yeah, you were you were going to say you got a three hundred and twenty amp hour. Three hundred and twenty amp hour. Battery. I got a one hundred amp hour, and that thing is bulletproof. I mean, it really runs. That's a lot of battery. That's a lot of battery. Yeah. Good for you. Um, well, that's what it came with. Yeah. That's and cool. uh, lithium or yeah. AGM. It's lithium. Okay. Yeah, that's what that's it came great. with. And so, what's behind curtain to, number one? Well, it's my bed. Oh, okay. This I forgot. You got to have a place to sleep. So this is the so and the, the air conditioner is right in there. Yeah. And so my idea was last year. Do we have a light in there to, to I do. show? Uh, I do. What is it? You got a full queen? It's about a full. About I a full. I would say. Yeah. It's a full. And I thought my idea was to put a curtain. That way, this it hasn't got hot enough to try it yet. But I'm hoping because the new Winnebago Rebel did this. They put a curtain here a zipper type curtain but they put a curtain and i went i'm gonna do that so the reason they did that was so you could close it off at night when you're sleeping the air conditioner only has this area to try to cool off and it should be able to run longer let me tell you something Thirteen thousand five hundred btus cooling that only well i mean run, that, lo run longer oh so it should it be it might be able to run oh longer. yes that yes if but you, that will certainly keep you comfortable. Oh, even, yeah. Even uh, here in uh, Laughlin or uh, Bullhead City where it gets triple digits, you should be able to be funny I'm, cool. I'm getting ready to try it out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and so let me just uh, show everybody back there how okay. big it is real quick. Yeah, it's um, it's good enough. I mean, there's, oh, yeah. there's couples oh, doing this. Oh, you got TV? Yeah, that's where my sister said I was crazy. Is that a TV? <laughs> yeah, it's oh, another nice. one just like that. Ah, so I told him. I told my yeah, sisters. You can move out of the houses, but you got to take your TV. I told my sisters that, and they, they laughed at me. They said, oh, you like walk a foot to get to your your bedroom to watch TV or whatever. And I'm like, yeah. That's yeah. great. That's really great. Only at night, though. Otherwise, I'm active and out sure, doing stuff. Sure. But yeah. in the morning, I like to have my coffee and watch YouTube. But, um, but. I, I've looked at these at RV shows, and I've always thought, ah, you know, who could, why would... You know, it's so small, but I've my eyes have been open because look what I have. Oh, I thought, and it's just a little bed. I looked at those. and and I'm thinking, I was so wrong about less is more. If you're on the move all the time and you're doing like what we're doing, uh, to carry around one of these big campers like people are doing, they're fine to stay stationary. If you want to, or you want to live in it, or you want to move from yes, one sir. place to another for a couple of weeks. Yes, sir. On your vacation. But to be mobile, to yeah. really pop around and see things, that and is. you with your off-road four-wheel drive, this, this is. So I think these compact units are really the, the game changer. And, and the I score. do believe, besides the fact that they're harder to build than a bigger one, that is one reason they're more expensive. You're paying for the convenience, basically. Yes, yes. And well, they're not so. cheap, but at the same time. Uh, Isaac does have the Mercedes chassis. He's got the four-wheel drive. He's got a diesel engine. That's one reason I thought, well, the diesel reliability. And so far, I have 21,000 miles on it. And so far, I have What kind had, of fuel economy? Uh, when I'm doing 60, 60 miles an hour, I can get 17, 18, 19. Great. Depends if no wind. Do you wind. know what this thing weighs? It's about 8,000. Is it that yeah. heavy? Yeah. It's wow. more than I thought it would be. Wow. But I did have to weigh it when I went and got my South Dakota plates. And still getting 17 or 18 is pretty yeah. good. But yeah. that's a pretty heavy vehicle. It's a pretty heavy. It surprised me how heavy I mean, it was. My that's with foot all my junk staff in is 6,500. But that was with all my junk and my bike and, and not everything. And the generator and the yeah. batteries and the waters and all. So I imagine it's around 6,700 okay. maybe. Yeah. Well, um, yeah, that's about right, I guess. Something like that. So this is, this is really, really nice. Thank I you. really want to... Thank, Thank you, you so much for inviting me and the community in to see your I put uh, 2023. Rug. It's a 2023. A 2023 Revel. Revel. Uh, Mercedes. Now this is. They have two wheelbases, don't they? They have one yeah. that's longer, and you've got the shorter I one. I got the shorter one. And what was the reason for that? Any reason? What they, they had? <laughs> well, so far they don't build a Revel on a longer one. I oh, think I see. they should. Oh. So I mean, it's it's other brands that make the longer ones. It's not. It's mm, not. Actually. Yeah, there's some other brands that are building on the longer one. Yeah, but I've as seen far them. As, some uh, of them are really big, big. I think I think Winnebago would do well if they came out with one on the 170, which is the next next one up. The next one, but well, 
That's not uh, the I, idea of the Revel, though. No. Uh, the idea is And to, for off-roading with a shorter wheelbase, I think you're actually more agile and maneuverable and capable right. than maybe even heavier, longer, you know, bottoming out and right. that kind of thing, worrying about the, the you have the, the black tank and everything underneath to, to dump, right? You have a, no, it, it has a cassette. Oh, it's a cassette. That's okay. Which That's, I actually like. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. I yeah, think yeah. it's better. Yeah. You can do it anywhere. You don't have to like go pay somewhere and find some place. I mean, you can you, you can also pay, but I mean, it's a lot more convenient. I think it is more convenient to, uh, yeah. to do that. And um, how often would you have to do something like that, do you think? If, uh, if you for, didn't use the facilities that are available to you which is outside, what I do too. which is what we would do. Uh-huh. Um, once a month. Oh, wow. That's not bad. No, it's just. Oh, me. you're gonna say once a week? But I do use restrooms. That's and all exactly that too, right. That's so, what I do. That's you know. what I do. So you adapt and you use what you have, and then the things that you do use often, you know, they're right here. You know, your cooking, your your air conditioning, your TV, your electronics, everything. You know, your your home. Yeah, it's my home. And, and uh, uh, I'm. A lot of people ask me, "Do you regret it?" And I'm like, "No, I still love it so far." Well, that's how about that's you? Not. I don't regret anything. In I, fact, yeah, I I, I think I would have regretted buying awesome the bigger too. teardrop that I contemplated a few days ago, and I'm so happy I'm keeping with what I have. Right. Because I've got the generator and some things with my truck that are companion to it. Right. And it's just working. It's a different setup than what you got, but it's still a minimalist, smaller thing. And I look at the bigger campers and the fifth wheels and things that people have here, and everybody's happy with what they have, and maybe they don't even know how more convenient it could be, right. but. I've discovered, and like you know, that less is more. I've always actually been a minimalist too. My home was nothing. I never, I never really wanted things. Now, my the things I did want was usually I'm all into cars and trucks. I do like that stuff, but yeah. and electronics. But other than that, I pretty minimal. You know, I I don't need much. Well, guys, uh, we're going to end the video now. I got to just tell you, I really thank Isaac for inviting me in. He does seem like a very, very upbeat guy that's really happy. You can tell from the way he's living how he is, his attitude is. He's just having a great time moving around. And that's yes. the, the attitude that I'm getting and how much I'm enjoying life. And, um, you know, I just got to tell everybody, you always remember that nobody's promised tomorrow. And so get out there as soon as you can. Get your debt down as much as you can. And um, just make sure that you uh, always remember to crush it.